guys, it's Amy. It's been a while since I posted a vlog and I tried to vlog on the two days that I was out of, you know, in the city and doing a little bit of shopping, but I didn't really do a full thing. I didn't do an intro and all that and I didn't talk through things just because, you know, sometimes that's just how it is. Sometimes when I shop, I don't feel like talking to a camera, but I still wanted to film present it to you guys and talk through my thoughts on the new things that i saw at the chanel store there was the usual i guess there, there's a lot of colorful uh bags on the wall but nothing that really caught my eye except for the i think it's called the business affinity uh flat bag I might be wrong, I'm not even sure, but um, I'll insert my trying it. Uh, it's such a cute little bag. It was the perfect size. I like the small size. I think it comes in several sizes and it was, oh, I loved it. I wish they had it in other colors because green is kind of hard unless I only treated it as a summer bag. But at this point in my collection, I'm not ready to kind of like not stick with the neutrals i mean black is usually my go-to but I, I would probably have considered it had it been a i don't know a very nice beige or even a very light pink um maybe even red um black for sure but green was just so difficult and i love the bag so much but anyway it's um from spring act one so i know my chances are very low even if i tried to find it in europe but it was such a cute bag i really really loved it and trying and comparing my mini flap with amy's uh basically we're very different height i'm shorter than she is i'm 5'4 and she's 5'7 and um i wasn't wearing any heels at all i was really really flat i think she was wearing boots with low heel and um yeah, her, her flat bag was about 22 inch drop and mine is about 20 inches, maybe 20 and a half if I was being very generous. And uh, they both actually look quite good on me. I think for me, uh, for my frame and for my height, uh, any bags that are uh, between 20 inches and 22 inches would still work for me. I tend to prefer the 20 inch range. Uh, I just like it when it sits a bit higher on like right where my hips are. I guess I have a short torso because apparently she has a long torso. But anyway, you guys can see the comparison. On the same day, we went to Dior and also LV. And at Dior, I checked out... Um, I didn't check out their bags. I, I should, but I saw them. Like I saw them in passing. Instead, I looked at their tribal earrings. They're very classic very iconic and uh, very cute actually they they are so edgy but still classic with a nice serious outfit um i just never i just never pulled the trigger i mean i tried them a couple years ago and i i thought they looked so big on me but then at the time i was still not into uh costume luxury jewelry uh, but now that i've um, I guess graduated to Chanel jewelry and LV jewelry. Uh, I just feel like those pieces are the pieces that really you only need to own one and it will go with everything in a wardrobe versus buying all the cheaper not as good quality jewelry but they're still nicer looking but it's just like you get tired of them for some reason these classic pieces you never get tired of them and every time you wear them it just brings you so much joy uh, hence these earrings they the cost per wear of these earrings is just amazing i tried on several combinations i'm not sure which one i want to go for i still think they look a bit big but then maybe i'm just not used to it um yeah probably the classic pearl that would be probably the safest bet but i also really really like a metallic uh with the uh, canage now at lv which is one of the main reasons why i went in because i asked uh, my cell associate whether they had any of the neo noe at the same time i asked to look for the love note it's a new clutch bag made of very very soft calf skin I was not expecting the calfskin or, or the leather to be, or the bag actually to be so soft. It is structured, but it's still really soft. Like you can pinch the bottom 
um, but it was so beautiful, very luxurious. The inside was lined and the turn lock, the envelope style with the a little bit of an angle. It's just really, really nice. I also asked to uh, look at the new strap that I told you guys about in my last video in my what's in my bag video and I really like it. It's thinner but it's not as thin as you think. I think it's not even, it's probably just as thin or just as uh, thick as the original strap that comes with the Bush and Mises but it has the same exact feeling and touch and flexibility and um, softness as the thicker one that I have, the thicker bandoulière and but it is longer and it's semi-adjustable. It has a few settings at each end where the leather wraps around. So I really, really liked it. But two things that the new Neo Noe has is that the interior is lined with the Arcantara or the microfiber lining, which is super luxurious. Anytime there's microfiber lining in my bags, I just love. The drawstring has that little tab thingy where you can really cinch it in and it's easy to open it, close it, open it, close it. It's such a great thing. I don't know why they don't do that with their other drawstring bags. I think if I were to get it, then I would have never sold my first Pizzinoe in the first place, so I probably wouldn't get it. And not just because of the fact that I sold it, it's also because Every time I feel like when I need to reach for a bag that size, I just reach for my Neverfull, I just reach for my Deauville, I just go with my tote bags because I just tend to just throw things in without any organization like you saw in my video. I just throw things in, I just don't mind if it's all in there. And the fact that it's an open tote, it's easy to find. So it, it doesn't really um, serve a specific purpose for me, I mean other than it's a nice medium size bag for me. Um, I do like the fact that the strap is adjustable to be worn crossbody but then it's way too long for me anyway. I also went and looked at the BDB and I you guys know that I sold, or maybe you don't know, but I, I did sell my Speedy B25 in Damier Ben. I mean I still really like the Speedy so I went in and tried the Speedy again but in monogram this time because I really 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 love monogram and Vachetta. As I expected, the Vachetta leather was so comfortable, so buttery soft, even right off the bat on the same wig I think. Um, I went back to downtown because I had uh, more doctor's appointment. I wanted to look at a few more things anyway. So I was at Hotel Vancouver and I went into Dior again, LV and Gucci. I say again, but it's it's actually different stores. I normally don't frequent the, the Hotel Vancouver that much. I usually just go to Holt Renfrew. But anyway, um, at Dior, I checked out their Lady Dior, the mini size, finally. I think it's really cute, but it's, um, it's not too high on my priority list. At LV, I don't have a particular essay there. I don't go to Hotel Vancouver usually, so I didn't recognize anybody I knew, so I just... Whoever was there, I was served by a lovely uh, gentleman whose name is Mohammed, and I was telling him that I wanted to research, that I wasn't ready to buy, but I, I, I wanted to research or try on different bags that are for more for evening. I mentioned the Lock Me 2 BB, I, men I mentioned the Saint Germain BB, and I mentioned the new Love Note. I wanted to compare notes with all of them, and so he brought me whatever was available. The Saint Germain BB was not available so he brought me the medium size and he also brought me the Vivian which um, was very very cute. But the Vivian was, even though it looked kind of big when you carry it, it was still really small but it looked bigger than it is in, in the capacity wise. My phone just kind of fit. I mean it fits but it just... I have a big phone I know. But anyway, um, and plus the price tag. It's made of bull leather, that's what he told me, and that um, the leather is, um, is bull, so it's very soft but very sturdy, which I can tell. So definitely um, very expensive, and it was actually just as expensive as the first bag that I saw at Chanel um, the other day, and uh, I would rather get the Chanel because the Chanel was bigger even. And it was just perfect. I, I just love that bag so much. So anyway, that was uh, off the list of Vivienne and um, tried on the love note again. I, I still really like it. 
I still really really like it. It's like I said, there are, there's a few things I'm not sure like the softness and all that and how easy it is to scratch because of the smooth leather. But I guess um, when you go for a bag like this, you have to be okay with the micro scratches, I guess, over time. And maybe it won't even scratch that easily, who knows. Um, and plus he did tell me that LV, um, at LV, they, the way they tan the leather, they make sure that they soak the color all the way through. So it's not just the surface surface uh, dyeing, it's they, they go all the way through, which is good to know. And of course we would expect that because they're quite a nice luxury brand, but it's good to know the details. With the Lock Me 2BB, which I really liked, um, it, everything was perfect except for the fact that it was in silver hardware and when I compared all of those bags side by side, the, the gold hardware just screamed more evening to me. It was definitely more of on the lines of what I was looking for. In itself, it was a really nice bag and I would totally get it because it's it's a really nice bag. The leather is soft and I like, I like the turn lock. The capacity is great. It's still small, but it's I know I can fit a bit more in that one. And it had a nice chain detail and all that, but uh, yeah, a lot to consider, I suppose. Gucci, that was the last stop. I've seen the Mahmo and the Dionysus on so many people online. I tried on the medium, tried on the mini, and I also tried on the wallet on chain. Um, I thought I would have wanted the medium just because it's like it looks very proportionate on people but when i tried it it, mm, it was very bulky it was very big very bulky and uh yeah i didn't like it like the chain was quite short shorter than i thought and i, I normally wouldn't mind that because i i know how short the medium large classic platform chanel is but that one looks so perfect on me it was very proportionate uh and it wasn't as bulky so of course it wouldn't fit the same amount because the medium Dionysus would fit a lot. It's it's a big bag, um, but just not for me. So between the mini and the wallet on chain, hard to tell because both bags are super cute uh, when you wear it on the shoulder, like on the shorter setting, but the moment you wear it on the longer setting, it's so long. And I'm not super sure, I'm 5'4", but I am on the petite side. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm Amy. If you're new to my channel, I would love to have you back. And hopefully you will subscribe to my channel to stay up to date because I do upload every single week. And by subscribing, you won't miss any of my videos. Hopefully you guys are doing really well and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye!